It, damn boy, <laughs> what? We on to the next Billy binge, which is the collective soul and unconscious chapter one. If you caught village of perception chapter one, you probably are watching this one. If you didn't watch the first one, if you want to watch in chronological order, go watch that. What are you doing, homie? We're going to start off with, uh, I have no idea how to pronounce this. Ginga Minga Yo. Let's get into it though. Not waste your time. Let's jump into the music video. My volume is so high right now. I'm going to keep it like right there. Until you make the unconscious conscious. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, I did read that right. Until you make the unconscious conscious, it will direct your life and you will call it philosophical bars right there. Billy with the knowledge drop. There she is. There, there. Okay, there she is. She's, she's in now. Okay, okay. Now we actually have Sean in the group. Okay, now we're good. If you're wondering why I freaked out, because I got her wrong and oh my god Harlem wow sorry I'm not being dramatic I swear but damn Suki I absolutely love this intro look at moon all right Shua. Shua. that would be so dope to go into a, a present to another world. What a strange world. Hey, hey. Dude, this is so different already off rip with uh with uh Sean in the group. And look at Harana. Look <laughs> look at little Harana. I'm trying to force myself to use their names to learn them quicker. Chua looks tough. This is interesting. <laughs> Suki with the uh, like ponytails. That's an iconic look. Oh, I did hear the chorus. I heard the chorus from the guide. So it did. It spoiled just that part. This part of the song. What? What was this era? Dude, Sue Young look good. I want to run back this rap. I can't. We can't just. We can't just let Suha just melt down the mic like that and not run it back. My brain didn't register what was happening. I haven't been looking at Shion until then. I did say it right. Oh my God. 
died. That was she on, right? Wait. That hairstyle reminds me of Leah or Itzy. There's that dynamic duo. Duo. Hey. Oh my. Oh my god. Hey, yo, was that soup? That was Suki. You know what that entire portion made me think of? I'm gonna say debut in mix. This I feel like is what the mix pop thing was supposed to be at the start. The mixing, the the experimentation in in the music, but done to perfection, in my opinion. If you're gonna do it, if you're gonna do it and have a drastic switch, I feel like this was the best execution of that. Slumber. <laughs> that was you uh, with the giggle. I'm, I'm, of course, I'm running that back a third time. Like, come on. Oh. Hard Eye with the Blonde actually makes it easier for me to uh, distinguish. Oh, oh, go back. Absolutely not. Take that one eyed bunny somewhere else. You can't tell me Harm didn't absolutely murder you guys, right? It can't just be me. Get it, get it, get it. Honestly, I, like the the differences in sounds, man, is, is really what's tripping me out. Your Village of Perception chapter one. I know this isn't part of the village. Se sequence or but it, it is so so very 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 different <laughs> it was it was oddly fun it was like one of those uh it, it was like early red velvet type of how uh like let's dum uh, dum for example in my mind it shouldn't be good but when it's executed like that it's 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 <laughs> low-key one of my favorites because I think this was the track that they use. Absolutely gonna be a playlist. She giving me vocals. Alpha rip. Playlist. I wanna see how they utilize Sean. Oh, I don't have to wait. You hear the bow, 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 bow. My God, wow. She was a bias record for me. It's not disappointing at all. It's not disappointing at all.
my brain's trying to decipher what genre this song is leaning towards, but I don't have too good of a, a pick, honestly. I expected it to be good. It's actually a little bit better than what I expected, which is good, which is great, actually. Let's continue. That sounds so good. Oh, we running this back from the from the jump because did you hear the the ad lib underneath? I want to guess that it's Harm or or Shion. Oh, it was it was Shion. Oh, I didn't even know it showed it. I love the synth wave in this, bruh. I, you know, I, I, I pretty liked the song because I knew I would like it, but it didn't disappoint. It, it was, it was so good all around. Now, standouts were definitely uh, Chion for one. Uh, I, they utilize her vocals a ton in this. Tua, Sean, I think those three probably on on this track in particular. I was most like just drawn into each time they they popped up. I'm gonna move on though to overlap. We now move into uncharted territory. Hmm. I feel like this is gonna be another playlist. I feel like 11, oh, I'm stupid. 11 has some sort of significance because they, they keep mentioning 11, but like multiple times at this point. I forgot that even in Billy, their name, the two first L's are 11s. I think it, it is important in the group lore, right? Hey. Oh, you know I love harmonies. You know I'm a sucker for a good harmony. And you know that Billy is not afraid to throw them in there. Hey. 
Hey. Oh yeah. That woman is so good. Listen to the background. What else I like that's real subtle but appreciated Billy knows how to end songs like they know how to let the song breathe at the end for a little bit before fully cutting it off or fading out and so far I have a sign listed up at the top for this particular EP overlap then uh, Ginga Minga Yo I really really like overlap I just feel like a sign kind of takes it has the edge over it just a little bit especially from the, the vocal standpoint I feel like it showcased them a bit more so I, I put overlap at two for now the next one though on the EP is one that we also heard snippets for in the guide video and that is moon palace my god where Suki's eyes all well I mean colored contacts right but that is a distinguishable blue Chihuahua with like moon gray eyes is that's a vibe. Oh my god. Oh, I didn't realize that guy that I reacted to, uh, which uh, shout out Momo. It was playing the instrumental to Moon Palace pretty much throughout, right? So I'm like, this sounds familiar. <laughs> Playlist. Playlist, playlist, playlist. Hey, hey. <laughs> This, this, this is actually better. This one... This one's better than I thought, I'm not gonna lie. I anticipated it to be good, but it's better than... It's better than even I thought it would be, to be honest. I might have to put Moon Palace at, at number one on the CP over sign, a sign. Might clear it, I don't know. Let's listen to the rest, this is good. You know what's really, really pushing it for me is is the it's the, the the punch and the sub that's pairing with their vocal cadence. It's kind of like dri your driving force in the song. I I love that. I love I love every vocal. Thing she does and I hate it mm. 
It sounds like a like a lullaby turned not a lullaby no more. I don't know. I don't, how, how do you describe that? It's like dreamy. The lows, like the the bass and sub, are making it to where it's not. Uh, maybe you get me. Maybe you don't. I don't know. I love this track. I might have. I think I got this one at number one now. <laughs> Moon Palace. Moon Palace is above a sign, bro. It's it's just, I don't know. Didn't really pick out an individual member to me in this track. I thought it was pretty balanced overall. This will be the last on the EPs, believe, which is what they call the fans, right? The the fans are called believe. Um, it's just spelled with the triple L typically. Uh let's get it. Aside from, uh, aside from the, like, the lows and the, um, like, the percussion that was thrown in there, especially as a big prominent piece in the instrumental, I thought that this was actually their, 
most generic constructed song from a feel and sound now granted it was titled believe and just from looking at the lyrics and trying to make sense of it all um because I was, I was paying attention to that to try and uh pull out a meaning from what i'm gonna guess is uh for one my my hunch on believe um which is you know the fan fan base and uh fandom name like saying hey hand in hand we'll you know walk and you know almost like a thank you and for uh, waiting for them and walking with them. That's what I'm guessing and uh, pulling from the lyric portion of the song. It's a it's a link direct tie artist to the uh, the fans. In terms of the song portion itself, I thought it was a, I thought it was okay. It wasn't uh, it wasn't my favorite um, off the EP. It didn't feel as them or as unique to them as some of the other tracks on this EP. But yeah that i believe that is the last one and uh let me know your thoughts what are your favorite songs from this ep comment down below and all that good stuff if you'd like to but keep an eye out for the next installment of our billy deep dive which will be chapter two billet your perception chapter two until next time peace <laughs>